doing right here? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. We came out uh, power, very lethargic uh, offensively tonight. It's like we were running in quicksand, mud. We weren't moving our feet offensively. Same goes on the other end. We did a great job of coming back and getting back into the game. Then a couple turnovers and costly. Missed a couple of assignments. So they did a good job running their offense. We played against their offense before. There's some things that they were able to get tonight that we had given up in a few years. They were able to get those tonight. It shows a lack of concentration at times. So it's very disappointing. Where does that come from coming off of U the Utah loss, which obviously everyone was frustrated with? Where does a bad start come from after that? Uh, I don't know. It shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened. Did, did you find something there late in the first half uh, by scoring? I think it was on five of your last six possessions and then cutting it to 10 points. And it seemed like that kind of gave you something going into the second. Something called energy. We started playing with more energy. I think Andrew was in there. He was pushing the ball. We were, we were just more active. The group was just play with more energy. That's. We don't play with energy, we're not very good. We play with energy, we can compete. And then when you cut it to one, did it, was it just simply a matter of running out of energy, tired legs? After making that big comeback, you cut it to one. Then it's Costly turnovers, uh, a couple turnovers uh, down the stretch, a couple missed assignments. Uh, once we cut it to one, then we weren't able to get stops against them to force us to get over the hump. We've seen some veteran guys lacking maybe on some details during the course of the last, certainly the last two games. How do you get them to clean that up? Uh, we got to continue to show film, continue to talk about it, and uh, just have to collectively step up. Then after the 4 and they'll start, just where's the team right now? Just uh, after suffering now two losses. Well, this is a third of the league right now. And we're four and two and we're about to play the best team that's playing the best in the league right now. We're getting ready to find out where we're at. We'll go back home and we'll practice tomorrow. And uh, Saturday, come back, hopefully have a better attitude and approach. And your message to them started where and what do you need to see over the next couple of days in practice that tells you you're back so, uh, squared up? Attention to detail and energy. On both sides. And the, you had said earlier that you don't really sort of talk much about the offense, uh, knowing that the guys aren't trying to miss shots. But uh, in that first half, it, it just seemed that it was a struggle just to find points. For just them. when you say the offense, to me, I'm answering your question. To me, your offense could be working fine, but the shots aren't going in. So. To me, there's a difference when we say your offense is stagnant. That means you're not executing, to me. If you're executing, things are going great, and you're getting good shots, it's not the offense that you're not making shots. Now, with that being said, we didn't execute tonight. Early on, we, we, we weren't committed to what we were supposed to be doing. You know, we'd make one pass, we'd kind of half-heartedly half make a cut, and then just get away from it. We, we weren't disciplined early on, and that hurt us. Can you even find a reason why a team at this point in the season would, would be that one? You know, anytime you come up with a reason, it's an excuse. <laughs> so, but, you know, the fact is, just uh, I didn't, our last couple of practices with the travel and what things were going, we kind of rushed. I was concerned coming into the game, thinking we didn't really get to hit this hard, you know, because. Uh, Time we get to the airport, guys get out of class, and I didn't like how our practices went. I didn't think we got to cover some things. Uh, maybe that had something to do with it. When you were down 7 1 called timeout, it looked like you wanted to switch things a lot initially out top. And were you not doing that? Were you no, not what, following what, what you wanted to do? You can't go under screens Starks. With, with Starks and Nelson and Shafton. Mm -hmm. You can't go under the screen. But we went under the screen. Right. Early. And it just it was mind-boggling why we would do that because uh, last week we weren't doing that. And all of a sudden we come out and that's, that's just not what we practiced. That's not what we talked about 
for two, three days. So it was a reminder, like, what, what did we talk about? So from there on, we did a much better job of getting over the top of the screen. But that early start, you come out and uh, they're going to burn you. Because I thought they executed their offense very well. Do you, feel like, do you feel like at this point that was indicative of your guys kind of being discombobulated for a while tonight? Uh, indicative, which was indicative of what? Not doing something specifically they were told to do in practice. As soon as the game starts, they weren't doing that. Do you feel like that was indicative of what was to come throughout uh, the rest uh, of the first half? Uh, uh, probably was. Yeah, that's kind of how we played. Even our free throws. We've been shooting free throws very well. 72% in lead tonight. We're, we're not making our free throws. Those were all the signs that mentally we just weren't focused where we need to be. At like this point, is it just a matter of getting back to the basics, or do you think that you have to make some changes? I think it's a matter of being determined that we're going to do the right thing. Being determined to, that we're going to do the things we have done already. This isn't something that one day we're going to be able to do it. I know we haven't done it yet. We've done the right thing. You know, for several weeks we did the right thing. And out of nowhere, we've lost that concentration, lost that edge. We've got to regain that. And is that doubly surprising considering how much of an elder group that you have here? Yes. Yeah. It's a silver lining, but did that do take a small step tonight, assertiveness wise? Or that uh, he, you know, he, he made more shots. He made more shots tonight. And then on that, just. The positives that you'll take away from tonight are what? What can you build off of? We didn't put our heads down when we were down 17 in the first half, whatever it was. We, uh, we came back and fought. So we know we can fight back if we get down like that. We have to take it the next step and get over the hump.